Now we're going to move on to the actual voice pack, and that would be the install exe. So again, you double click on it. You get your little splash screen, and you get your welcome screen. All right, so you would hit next, read your license agreement again, accept next, setup guide. You read through that next and user information. Now this is where you would put in your username, your organization and your serial number. The first two could be anything you want. The last one has to be the serial number that you got with your pack. And remember I showed you how you can go to send out your account and it's in your email. So you would type in all your information. As always, I use my email that I used uh, when I initially bought the pack and the organization I'd put sold three. Now your serial number, if you cut and paste, a lot of people complain that it uh, doesn't work. I can't hit the next. I, I did everything. It, it, the next is not working. What they did is because they left a space here. No spaces. Get rid of the space. Your next will hit. Now you see that? Space. No next. No space. Next. All right, so you hit next. Now you're presented with the same path that you saw with the plugin. And again, it stops at voice attack. It doesn't go into voices or sounds or apps or any other folder. It stops at voice attack. And again, if you don't have a standard install, you looked at your path in voice attack previously, so you know how to browse to that location. So you would go ahead and browse if this is blank. Since I'm not blank, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. You have option for start menu. That's good. Okay, I want to keep it. Next. One final check to make sure that that's what you want. Hit install. And this will take uh, a couple uh, seconds, minutes. Depends how fast or how slow your computer is. So I'm going to speed this up by pausing and coming back when it's ready. Okay, so once it's finished, you get a special thanks screen again. and Hit next. And you have finished installing the voice pack. Hit finish, and now you're good to go. Now, the next step you do is close the folder that you had open. And if you no longer need it, you can delete the unzipped one, and you can save your zip and store it somewhere safe.